Hello, in this session we will talk about intersect versus join versus subquery. This is Hassan Mir from 02protraining.com. There are certain queries that could be performed using any of the three methods that you see on the screen. Intersect method which is a set operations and inner join and also subquery. In this session we will take one query as an example and see how we can address that query using the three methods that you see on the screen. I'm connected to the SAP HANA Studio. So this is the SQL we created in the previous session. So we have two tables, course and online course tables. Course table contains data on courses that we are offering through instructor-led training program and online course table contains data on courses that we are offering through online training program. Okay, And we wanted to find out the common courses in the two tables. So we created this SQL, select name and description from online courses and intersecting the result retrieved by the first select statement with the result of the select uh, second select statement and the second select statement is select name and description from course table. Okay, so if I run this again, you can see the result. This is the only course that we are offering through both the programs, online and instructor-led. And the result seems to be correct because if I take you to the contents of the online course table, you see the two courses here and one of them is SQL course. And if I take you to the content of the course table, you can see it has four courses and one of them is the SQL course. So SQL is the common component in the two tables. Can I achieve the same result using any other method than intersect set operation? The answer is yes. I can achieve the same result or I can address the same query using other methods as well. Like inner join for example. To find out details on the inner join, you can take my videos that I have created solely on inner join. So the purpose here is not to train you on inner joins from scratch here. We are only doing the com comparison of inner join and the intersect set operation. So in order to find common elements in two tables, we can write this statement. So first I'm going to select what I need to select from table 1. Select name and description from online course table and let's give this table an alias let's call it A and I want to retrieve data from two tables okay so let me bring this from into the next line just so that it's easy to read otherwise it doesn't matter technically and the second table is the course table and I want to give it alias as well let's call it B so I am retrieving columns from two tables Table 1 is online course and table 2 is course. If I do not provide a join condition, system is going to create a Cartesian product, a cross join of the two tables. For each row in table 1, system is going to append all the rows from table 2. So the number of rows in the Cartesian product would be the number of rows in table 1 times number of rows in table 2. And that is not what we want to see. So let me for now change the column names into star. Let's pick up all the columns from both the tables so that we can see what system is doing. If I run this without the where clause, without a join condition. See, a Cartesian product is produced. So each row in table 2 has been connected with each row in table 1. So number of rows 4 times 2. So we have 4 courses in, in course table and 2 in online course table. So you see 8 lines. This is meaningless for us. We only want to see common courses in the two tables. Okay, so I want to put a where condition. Where the name of the course from table A is equal to the name of the course in table B but remember we want both name and description and we're going to consider course a common course if both match uh, both uh, both of these columns match so name has to match and description has to match this depends on the business requirement so let's say this is a requirement for now we're going to consider a course 
a common course if the name is the same and description is the same as well so we only want to see those rows where name in column in table 1 in table A is the same as the name in table B and description in table A is the same as description in table B so this makes the SQL an inner join if I run this I will see something meaningful I'm seeing those courses that are common in the two tables but I'm seeing all the columns from table A and all the columns from table B and that's not what I want and I don't want to see this ID column for example so I only want to see name and description but the question is from which table if I run this now I will have an error message because system doesn't know whether to pick up name and description from table A or from table B so which one should I use A or B so if I run this now by selecting this SQL I should get an error message you can see in red color here ambiguous column or something okay exactly that's what you see so I need to tell the system whether I want to retrieve these columns from table A or B it doesn't really matter you know why because we're only selecting those rows where in the Cartesian product name from table A is equal to the name from table B and description in table A is equal to the description in table B so A and B will always be the same so I can choose to get name and description from table A or B I will get the same result it doesn't really matter so I'm getting the same result as I was using the intersect okay however just to be correct keep in mind we already know about the distinct clause we have to use distinct here uh, in this case we are getting the same result but what intersect does is it also shows unique rows on the uh, on the result okay so if we have some duplication so let's say if SQL course is there in any of the two tables twice or three times in the output you will only gonna see one because of the intersect intersect removes the duplications so in order to create an equivalent inner join statement that will behave the same way as intersect then distinct keyword has to be added that way the duplication will be removed from here as well if you remove the distinct keyword then this inner join will not remove the duplication if SQL course is there twice in a table then it will appear twice in the result although it shouldn't be there twice in any table based on our structure so if I run this one more time you can see we are getting the same result so usually join are very fast okay but it's debatable whether uh, the intersect is faster than join or not more or less they bring the same performance but it could depend on the scenario on the data on the structures of the tables etc so if performance tuning is important then you may try both and see which one is bringing faster result in your case now this join is written in an implicit syntax you can write the same join in explicit syntax if you like so select distinct a dot name comma a dot description from online course A inner join course B on A dot name equal to B dot name and A dot description equal to B dot description you may want to put a bracket here because this on is on both the conditions so if I run this you may get the same result okay because it's the same join written in explicit syntax now let's talk about the sub query can we use any other method than intersect and inner join to achieve the same result the answer is yes we can use sub query because we want to find out those course names 
and descriptions from course table that also exist in online course table okay so this is one way of putting the query or you can say you want to see name and description from online course tables that also exist in course tables so this is a perfect scenario for a subquery so we can say select name comma description from course table where name comma description in so this is the in clause of the subquery select name comma description from online course okay so logic is pretty simple we want to see name and description from course table where the name and description both as a combination exist in online course as well so that's why I'm using the brackets here because uh, brackets are required because I want system to only show those rows from course table where both name and description in a particular row exist in any other row in uh, in the online course table okay so that's how you put more than one columns in the subquery where clause okay if I run this I should be able to see the same result if I go back and if I reverse the order that should not impact the result at all so I want to say select name and description from online course table where both name and description as a combination also exist in the course table so if I run this I'll get the same result again to be technically correct we have to use distinct keyword because in this scenario we're getting the same result but if there are multiple occurrences of SQL course with the same description in any of those two tables then we may not get the same result okay so if there are multiple occurrences in the course table then distinct and required then distinct is required in this SQL if there are multiple occurrences in online course table then distinct is required in this SQL okay so now this SQL is equivalent to the intersect SQL so this is an example of a scenario that could be handled by any of the three methods but there are scenarios where you don't have a choice and when you have a choice then you should be inclined towards the scenarios that are faster in performance generally speaking joins are fastest but set operations tend to uh, give almost the same performance as well so when you have a choice you should be inclining more towards that but again this depend on the scenario on your indexes on the table structure and the kind of data you have so it's not always the rule of thumb so uh, you may want to try different methods so if I run the statement it's still working with the distinct and let me run the second last one as well with the distinct and it's working and giving the same result